What's up Team Huck House? So Veo Resorts just announced how to make reservations. They released this little video that we're gonna break down and we're gonna go over it. There's still a lot of questions. There's some things that I'm like, what? So we gotta, we're gonna break it down, we'll talk about it and hopefully I can help you guys understand the process a little easier. But if you're here looking for like COVID information or you're new to the channel, uh, check out this video right here. I covered all the stuff with COVID over the last, over the whole pandemic. I went to six different ski resorts. If you wanna know what snowboarding with COVID is gonna be like, check that video out. But if you wanna know about the reservations, here we go. We got some information, let's dive into it. We're gonna jump into the video and I'm gonna kind of talk about each talking point. Hopefully I can help you guys get some reservations so we can go skiing and snowboarding because that's what we wanna do, let's go. So the first slide is the pass holder priority reservation window is November 6th through December 7th. So what I think they're saying is you have between November 6th and December 7th, so about a month, to make sure you lock in the days that you want to go skiing and snowboarding as a pass holder. So you gotta have like the Epic Pass, the Epic Local, any of the, like maybe the Keystone Breck. If you have an Epic Pass of any sort, you're gonna get this window to make sure you get the seven days that they say each pass holder gets to guarantee like your trip, the days you want to go ride. After those seven days, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the reservations on the days that you want. So then the next slide says, depending on your pass type. So once again, this is like the Epic, uh, Epic Local, Keystone A Basin. It's so like this, like, so what pass type you got? It says early season days, November 6th through December 7th, so the, that date frame says, week of reservation released each Wednesday for the next week. So I'm, a, I'm still a little confused. So it says, depending on your pass type, and it doesn't really explain much about the past types. Does that make sense? So, so we're still in the early season window. So it says week of reservation will be released uh, Wednesday for each week. So like on Wednesday, you can reserve for the next week. I think that's like Wednesday through Wednesday, possibly. I don't know. And that was it. Like that was the only bullet for that section. So this is where uh, like the confusion kind of comes in. So then it says core season days will be December 8th through April 4th. So this is like the main season, core season. Uh, it says up to seven priority reservation days in advance. Maybe what they're saying is you get your guaranteed seven days between the core time frame and then the early season. It's like first come first serve between Wednesday and the, the Wednesday. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I think there's gonna be so many questions with this. So I, I'm not gonna have the total answers. I'm just presenting this to you guys. So comment down below. Uh, if you totally, like, you know what's really going on and I'll pin like the best comments. So then the next pop-up says week of reservations all season long. So I think that's saying you can get reservations the week of all season long, but the priority reservations, the locked in days, you only get seven of those. And then week of reservations, you can do all season long, which is gonna be nice because I'm trying to get out there and snowboard as much as possible. Then it says, here's how it works. So this is how you're actually gonna get your reservation in and obviously, this might change. There's gonna, they're already anticipating, and you'll see this. They're already anticipating some like hiccups and things. We're all gonna have to figure this out. This is gonna be a challenge for sure. But let's dive into this. So the first thing is you gotta sign into your Epic account. So you gotta go to EpicPass.com. Go to my account. Log in. So if you're under your parents' account, you're gonna need your parents' information to log into this. So you need to know this login information to get into this. Step two is super simple. Choose the resort that you wanna go ski and ride at. So whether that's Keystone or Breck or whatever, like which one you're trying to ride at, pick your resort. So this step three is a tricky one because I don't know how you're gonna be able to ride with your friends because it says pick the pass holder in your household who you are going with. So if you wanna go ride with a friend, so if I'm trying to go film with Benton or go make a video with Michael the ski doctor, I can't pick them. They're not a part of my family. They're not a part of my crew. So it might be that only like you can guarantee a reservation with your family, if that makes sense. So it might be really hard to be able to go snowboarding groups with like your friends and stuff this season. So know that. I think that's that's a that's a, gonna be a reality. And then I don't understand this one either. It says access will depend on each pass holder's pass type. So I don't know if it's saying like access, like if you buy the Keystone Breck Pass, you can't go to Vail. Like we, we know that, but I don't know if that's what they're implying. I, I'm not a little confused on that. And that's not even a step, they just say it. So uh, maybe if you got one Epic Pass holder, like the dad got an Epic Pass and the kids got like a not Epic Pass, they might not be able to go. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that one down below. And step four is you gotta add your contact information to complete the reservation. It looks like they want your phone number and your email. That way they can probably shoot you a text or an email being like, hey, you're in, you got it. Or they might be like, nah, you didn't get it. Sorry, try again. So that's the process one through four, but then it has another slide that says, 
Uh, want to reserve more days at another resort question mark? And then it just like slides over and it says, choose additional resorts and days you want. So I don't know if they're saying like, just keep like try as many as you want. Like make sure you try to re reserve at Keystone and then make sure you try to reserve at Breck and we'll let you know if you get one or the other. But then if you get, will they approve you for both? Like, could you get approved for Keystone and Breck and then all of a sudden, now you took a reservation from somebody else. I don't know, that's gonna be really tricky. So this slide is just telling you, hey, you got it. It says, check your email for confirmations. Your pass is now active for the days you reserved. So I think that's what, like, what we're gonna be seeing. But this is where I said, I think they're gonna, they're expecting some choke ups some like hiccups with this whole reservation thing. So it says, if reservations are particularly busy, you'll enter a waiting room. And they did this waiting room to buy your season passes this year. It was really weird. And some people waited a long time. So hopefully it's not that much of an issue. Let me know, were you a part of the waiting room for just buying your pass? I know I had to deal with the waiting room thing to get my season pass. And it does give us four tips for the waiting room. So it says waiting room tips. We'll let you know uh, your place in line. So how many people are ahead of you. Enter your email to be notified of your turn. You have 20 minutes to click the reservation link after they email you of your turn. If you don't show up for those 20 minutes, then you lose your spot in line. And then it says, leave the line if the wait time does not work for you. So if it like isn't gonna work out, they don't want you to be waiting in there, but then like never end up showing up and actually reserving it. So then other people are waiting on you that, that never show up. Does that make sense? But after you click that link within that 20 minute window, it says, uh, once you're inside, take all the time you need to reserve your days. So they're gonna, like, it's not like they're rushing you through once you're in. They just want you to get in so then they know that you're in there picking days and getting what you wanna reserve. Cause you might need to like double check some dates and stuff to make sure you're actually reserving the days that you actually want to go ski and snowboard. And then this next slide says, check out the facts for help at epicpass.com forward slash facts. So I hope you can get answers there because it's really hard to get a hold of Vail Resorts right now and talk to these guys. So hopefully it's a smooth process. And then after all that, it says next stop, the slopes. So hopefully we're out there skiing and snowboarding before we know it. Uh, I'm really excited to get on to some of my favorite ski resorts out there that are owned by Vail Resorts. And I hope you are too. And, and I've literally already gone to four opening days, three, four, yeah, four opening days. We went to Minnesota, Wisconsin, we did one in Colorado, Wolf Creek, and then we did uh, Idaho, which that video will post tomorrow. And overall, I, I'm so hyped to snowboard. I know you guys are too, the channel's blown up. You guys blow me up with comments and messages being like, we're so ready to ski and snowboard. So I hope this video helps you. I, I wish I could break it down more, I had more understanding, but until we do the process and we're in there doing it, and maybe I'll do another video on how to actually do it but I want you guys to know this information as soon as possible. So we're not gonna do a live stream today. I wanted to give, like, give you guys this information. And if this does help, make sure you, one, like the video. The more likes the video gets, the YouTube algorithm will push it. More skiers and snowboarders can see this video and hopefully get some ease and uh, relax going into the ski season because they're like, okay, I'm gonna get my vacation. But also if you want to be kept up to date with snow conditions, with COVID conditions, with the reservation, literally anything, subscribe to this channel. It's what I do for a living. I make daily snowboard content. My goal is to help you guys become the best snowboarders possible. But right now I've got this side goal of keeping you guys up to date with this crazy uh, season we're gonna have, but it's gonna be an incredible season. Don't think it's not gonna be, I've already had some insane days, like the Wolf Creek opening day video, Pow Day opening day, it was like, it was insane. It's already a great season. So I want you guys to expect and go into this season that you're gonna have a great season. With all that being said, if you guys wanna get any of the Evolution merch for the season to support any traveling we're gonna do this year, as well as just support what I do, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, face masks, uh, stickers, pins, all of it guys, it's all linked in the description. Any merch you guys do snag does support the dream and I appreciate it so much. And lastly, comment down below, where are you going on your vacation? There's seven guaranteed days. Where are you gonna go with your seven guaranteed days? I want to know. I know I'll probably spend my seven guaranteed days I'd, honestly, I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna spend my seven guaranteed days. It's gonna be a trip though. I definitely wanna put my days that I'm gonna guarantee on a trip because I got the A Basin Pass and I don't have to have reservations there. So I know I'm gonna get my daily snowboarding in worst case scenario at A Basin if I'm not getting reservations right here. And I also have the Icon Pass. And once Icon releases their information on how to get Icon reservations, I'll also drop that video for you guys. But with that team up, guys, thank you so much for breaking down the passes with me. And I hope this video helped you. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a super sick video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion. Yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No cliffhanger. Yeah.